Hi ladies, happy Tuesday. It is officially the kickoff to summer and I hope that you all had a really nice Memorial Day and a special welcome to all of my new followers in India. I didn't realize how many new subscribers I had from India. So welcome, welcome, welcome ladies. Let's talk looking expensive on a budget this summer. Ladies, looking expensive, looking affluent, looking elegant isn't always about how much you spend. It's simple choices that make the difference between meh and looking sleek, chic, classy, and elegant. And I'm gonna share just a few of the fundamentals with you today. These are super basic items that form the foundation of your summer wardrobe, all at affordable prices. A new home for a while, let me feel Invest in a few button-down sleeveless tops. Now these do not have to be expensive at all. Pair it with shorts, trousers, a skirt. It takes the place of where you might normally wear a t-shirt and bumps it up a notch. Best of all, it's comfortable. It just looks more expensive. Second, you always want to invest in a good quality, crisp, clean, white button-up. It's such a basic thing to have and it can make all the difference. As long as you keep it nice and clean and steamed, this will always elevate your look to look crisp, clean, classy, and chic. Wear it with shorts, a midi skirt, trousers. Bump it up with a statement earring or a statement necklace. Try a colorful shoe or even a bright, gorgeous lip. This serves as the backdrop for your entire summer work. Wardrobe. A boat net top. I'm talking about the ones that come across your shoulders because instead of showing boobage, a boat neck top still shows a little bit of skin, a little bit of uh, je ne sais quoi without showing boobs. And that's really important when you want to look a little more elegant, a little more chic, a little more affluent. An array of shoes in different heights and different styles. Why? Well, it's summertime y'all and most of us are walking around a lot more. We're taking a leisurely stroll around the cruise Yo. We're just outdoors a lot more than normal. That means you want to have the right shoe. I personally wear a combination of flat, mid heel, and high heel. So I want each of those various heel heights in white or nude. Those are always the more classic clean colors. Of course, you can bump it up with pops of color, but we're talking about basics and these are the basics. Here's what I like. I like to have a nice espadrille sandal. I like to have a loafer in case I want to just mix it up a little bit. And then I also want a sandaled heel. This is more for the evening and since we might be walking, I want a heel that's lower than what I would normally wear. This is about a three and a half inch. And the second thing y'all is the style of heel. So instead of a stiletto, this is a chunkier heel. You can also wear a block heel like this one by Vince. Notice that it's chunkier. Then of course, I always have a good nude sandal to wear. You can find a lot of styles that look exactly like the more expensive designer brands at very, very affordable prices. The more simple the silhouette, the more likely it is to look like the real thing. You can get something that looks exactly like this. Nobody would be able to tell the difference for under a hundred dollars. Okay, ladies, during the summer, aren't we all wearing things that are a little less coverage. We ha might have thin little spaghetti straps. We're wearing a pretty little silky chemise like this one. This one's actually a bodysuit that I love. Who's it by? Oh, this is by Alice and Olivia. What are the two things we never want to show? A bra strap and nipples. No. So the one thing that you're absolutely going to need is a seamless bra in nude. This is to go under all of your pretty little silky chemises, your little tanks. This is gonna make you look chic, streamlined, and polished. Nothing will ruin a really expensive look like a damn bra strap. Now, if you're really, really, really busty and need a lot of support, something like this probably isn't going to work for you. And in those cases, you definitely wanna stick with tops and dresses that are very bra friendly and have thicker straps so that you get the coverage and the support that you need, but you don't have the bra straps showing. Good nipple covers. These I have been purchasing for, gosh, probably five years. These are the best ones I've ever used. They are reusable. They last for, honestly, I've probably worn these particular ones for a year and a half because they just stick and re-stick. If you can get away with not wearing a bra, but simply wearing nipple covers, either because you're smaller busted or, you know, if 
the girls just aren't going anywhere for a particular reason, these are great. This will ensure that not only will you not have a bra strap, but you're not gonna have your high beams on walking into a restaurant. That's really distasteful, you guys. You don't want to do that. Nipple covers, an absolute must. A good quality, beautiful white summer dress. This is by a brand called Temptation Positano. This one is expensive. It's light, it's airy, it's classy. And a white summer dress always looks good. I can't wait to wear this. I actually just bought it. It's like white lace and it's got a little bit of metallic. And the thing that I like about it is that it's smocked. Smocking is, you'll recognize this. See how it looks scrunchy in the middle and it gives a lot of pull. I love smocking because it usually means I don't have to have it altered. A beautiful white cotton summer dress is just the epitome of elegance and affluence. Dress it up dress it down, wear it with a pop of color. It's super, super versatile and you just feel like chic and beautiful, like you wanna take a walk on the beach and ride a white horse every time you wear it. Linen. And before you say it wrinkles and I don't like linen, hear me out. Linen is durable, it's breathable, and best of all, it always looks chic and elegant. Now, yes, linen does wrinkle just a touch, but listen, everybody knows that that happens and so you can honestly get away with having your piece wrinkle a little bit while you're out and about. Look at a lot of celebrities when they're wearing something linen-y. You'll see that it does wrinkle and nobody really thinks two hoots about it. And really what it says is, I'm wearing linen. Linen is a bit more costly, but it's not so bad that it's cost prohibitive. Okay, y'all, time for three quick shout outs. First, a shout out to my girl, Miss Mila S., Miss Sonia Caban, and Miss Alexis Miller. Ladies, thank you for being a part of the community. And if you would like a shout out, subscribe to my channel, comment below, brand new videos every Tuesday and Friday on all things style, wellness, and beauty in a no judgy eyes environment. And I would love to have you as a part of our community. Chiffon. I love all things flitty, floaty, flirty, flitty, floaty, flirty. And chiffon is one of them. It's one of those gauzy, beautiful, floating in the wind kind of fabrics that just says, oh, I'm on vacation. Y'all, I will tell you. Okay, so chiffon can be very expensive, but you can also get some very, very very good finds in polyester. I know I said the P word, hear me out. Polyester comes in all different forms. Look for a polyester that is very thin. It will almost exactly mimic chiffon. You want it to be floaty and breezy and blow in the wind as you're walking by looking fabulous on your way to dinner, not thick and goopy. That's a good tip. Okay, and I saved the best for last because you know I love my handbags. A good handbag in white and or nude, whatever your budget allows for. This one is by uh, Kate, I think it is K-H-A-I-T-E, I think it's pronounced Kate. Whether in a hobo style like this, a little clutch, whatever you think that you will use the most, and a good nude bag. This one is Bottega Veneta. Always fresh, always chic, and it always looks affluent. If you would love to see more videos on resort wear, how to look chic and classy on a budget, I have a ton of different videos. I will put a few of the links before, or you can always go through my archives to your heart's delight. And please be sure to comment below and tell me what you think. You can never comment too much. You can never ask too many questions. Okay, until a couple days from now, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.